Yeah, I'm feeling great. Thank you. So before going to start our class, let us start our class with an activity. Are you all ready for the activity? Yes. yes. Okay. For the activity, I am going to divide the class into two teams. Okay. So this all size students will be team A, and this all style students will be the team B. Okay. I will pose few questions. Give me the answers. For each question, I will give five marks to you. Okay. Are you all ready for the activity? Yes. Okay. So team A and team B. So team A, pass your question. What is the capital of India? New Delhi. New Delhi. New Delhi. Very good. Give claps. For team A should give answers. Okay. We give. New, New Delhi. Delhi. Okay. So let us give the claps for team A. We got five marks. Now team B, your question. How many states are there in our country? Twenty-eight. Very good. Correct answer. Team B got five marks. Let us give big round of applause to team B. Now team A, your question. So, what is the first largest crop grown in our country? Rice. Rice. Very good. We got five marks. Let us give claps for team A. Now team B, your question. So, how many natural features are present in our country? Any answers? Five, four, three, two. Yes, very good. Mountains, plains, plateaus. Very good. So, my uh, Prasanna has gave few answers. Natural features in the sense nothing but mountains, plains, plateaus, rivers. So, all these what we call natural features. Do you know, children, about natural features of India? Okay, let us learn more about these natural features of India in today's our class. So today we are going to learn about natural features of India, which we also call it as physical features or physical divisions of India. Physical divisions of Everyone clap yourself. Well played. So the ELOs that you are going to achieve from this topic are recall, identify, state, list, explain, give reason. Compare and contrast. Students, what is this? India map. India map. What type of map it is? Is it a physical map or political map? Physical, physical map. This map is represent physical map. So, can you see any states and capitals in this map? No. no. So, only it presents that like Himalayas, Northern Plains, all these are physical features of India. So, this map we call it as physical map. So, as you can see that, so this map is an India map. Why this map? Can you please tell me that? Why different regions are there in this map? This entire map. Why? Yeah. Compared yeah, to good. this, see, observe this. Compared to this region, this region is different. Can you observe the shape? Compared to this region, this region is different. Compared to this region, here region is different. Why all these uh, regions are different? Because our India is a vast country. Because of that, we have a different regions in our country. Let us see that what are the different physical divisions are there or different physical features are there in our country. So, there are so many different natural features are there in our country like mountains, plains, plateaus, islands, all these. Are. Today in this class, we are going to learn about main three physical features. The first one is 
the Himalayas. What is the first one, my dears? Himalayas. Himalayas. And the second one is the Northern Plains. And the third one, the Peninsular Plateau. So these three are main important major physical divisions of India. What are the three? The Himalayas, the Northern Plains and the Peninsular Plateau. What is the meaning of physical division? Physical division in the sense divisions made on the basis of region with a similar features. For example, see this Himalayas. All the area is a similar feature. Like all here are mountains. Similar physical feature is there. So this is we call it as physical division or physical feature. Got it? So now let us see one by one. First one, the Himalayas. What does the meaning of Himalayas or mountains? Mountains or Himalayas are highest landforms on the earth. Just imagine these are the mountains or Himalayas. The Himalayas or mountains are highest landforms on the earth and it has a high, at the top it has a peak. Okay, next these are called Himalayas or mountains. The Himalayas are located to the Northeast direction of India. From here to here you can observe. From north to east. Got it? Next, moving on to the next one. The northern plains. See here, after uh, uh, Himalayas, we have a northern plains. Observe this region. So, northern plains have a, what are the northern plains in the sense? A vast stretch of uh, flat lands are called northern plains. So here the temperature is moderate and here the soil is very fertile. Okay, what is the moderate temperature? See my dears, when you go to the Himalayas, how was the climate will be there? It is very cool. When you go to the Rajasthan, like desert areas like Rajasthan and Gujarat, how is the climate will be there? It is very hot. So here, here the temperature is moderate in the sense the plain area's temperature not very much hot, not very much cool like a desert. So here it, plain areas maintain a temperature, moderate temperature. And here the soil is very fertile in the sense very smooth and slick which is suitable to grow the agriculture crops. Okay, next moving on. And do you know children, the plains are also we call it as food bowl of India. Why in the sense? Because of different types of the crops like wheat, rice, sugar cane, jute, all those are grown in the northern plains. Next, moving on to the third physical feature, the peninsular plateau. So, plateaus are like a highlands, but it all is, these are not a mountains. If you see the plateaus, plateaus are high, but at the top it is a flat. This type of landforms or this type of physical features we call it as plateaus. Okay. So, India, most part of our India country is covered with a peninsular plateau. Got it, my dear children? So, these are the main three physical divisions of India. So, the Himalayas, the Northern Plains and the peninsular plateau. Observe here, just assume this is a mountain. Highest landform. Just assume these are plains, flat lands. Okay. Now just assume this is a plateau. See that plateaus are high from the plains, but it is not high than the mountains. Got it? Mountains are highest landforms. Plateaus are flat landforms. Sorry, plains are flat landforms, and plateaus are high, but at the top it is flat because of its shape. The plateaus are also called it as table lands. Got it? So these are the main three physical divisions of our country. Now let us go. See Mahia. Now let us go to the evaluation chart. So identify, identify the physical map or political map. It is. Next, state. What we state? State the term physical division. You have to write what does the meaning of physical division. Next, list. 
what are the list the three natural features of india list out the three natural features of india and next uh, we have written that explain what we have to explain explain the structure of peninsular plateau how the plateaus will be okay how to explain next to give a reason wow why northern plains are called foot bowl of india you have to give a reason next compare and contrast so compare and contrast the mountains and plateaus both are highlands but what are the similarities and what are the differences you have to list out and write it down now for the home fun i am giving some charts to you like india maps so in this india map you have to find locate the physical divisions and mark and count tomorrow we will discuss in the class okay thank you